Today's Morning Mass is brought to you in part by these sponsors. Good morning. Our opening hymn is number 383. Here I am, Lord. <clears throat> Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus be with you. Spirit. As we gather to celebrate the Eucharist today, we pause. We ask Jesus to forgive us our sins. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, as you receive Christ Jesus the Lord, walk in him, rooted in him, and built upon him, and established in the faith as you were taught, abounding in thanksgiving. See to it that no one captivate you with an empty, seductive philosophy according to the tradition of men according to the elemental powers of the world, and not according to Christ. For in him dwells the whole fullness of the deity bodily, and you share in this fullness in him, who is the head of every principality and power. In him you were also circumcised with a circumcision not administered by hand, by stripping off the carnal body with the circumcision of Christ. You were buried with him in baptism, in which you were also raised with him through faith in the power of God, who raised him from the dead. And even when you were dead in transgressions and the uncircumcision of your flesh, he brought you to life along with him, having forgiven us all our transgressions 
obliterating the bond against us with its legal claims, which was opposed to us. He also removed it from our midst, nailing it to the cross, despoiling the principalities and the powers. He made in a public spectacle of them, leading them away in triumph by it. The word of the Lord. The Lord is compassionate toward all his works. I will extol you, O my God and King, and I will bless your name forever and ever. Every day will I bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. The Lord, the Lord is, is compassionate, compassionate toward all his works. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. The, the Lord, Lord is compassionate, compassionate toward all his works. works. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. The Lord, the Lord is, is compassionate, compassionate toward all his works. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I chose you from the world that you may go and bear fruit that will last. Alleluia. Alleluia. May the Lord be in your heart and on your lips that you may worthily and fittingly proclaim his holy gospel. In the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus departed to the mountain to pray, and he spent the night in prayer to God. When day came, he calls his disciples to himself, and from them he chose twelve, whom he also named apostles, Simon who he named Peter, and his brother Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, the son of Alphaeus, Simon, who was called a zealot, and Judas, the son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. And he came down with them and stood on a stretch of level ground, a great crowd of his disciples and a large number of the people from all Judea and Jerusalem and the coastal region of Tyre and Sidon came to hear him and to be healed of their diseases. And even those who were tormented by unclean spirits were cured. Everyone in the crowd sought to touch him because came power because power came forth from him and healed them all. The Gospel of the Lord. The last few days we've been hearing from St. Paul's letter to the Colossians. And I've noticed uh, as I pay more and more attention to the readings from uh, Scripture, especially the New Testament readings, you know, we worry a lot today about what's happening in the church. Many of our young people are leaving the church. Some old people are leaving the church. Um, and uh, we're naturally concerned about that and should be. But if we read the uh, Old Testament, the New Testament readings carefully, we see this is nothing new. Uh, even today, Jesus, after spending the night in prayer, chose his 12 apostles, and one of them betrays him. The others on Holy Thursday night, except John, flee. 
uh, eventually they come back and become great saints. But uh, even uh, Jesus had um, disaster with some of his uh, people that he called to be his disciples, at least seemingly for a while. And at the time of Paul and uh, in his writings, uh, there were a lot of conflicts. Uh, many people who I initially believed uh, turned against him. Um, it's just part of the way it is. As Jesus himself points out, many are called, but few are chosen. Uh, many are called, and eventually, at, at first, they're excited about their faith. And then when they're asked to make some demands on According to their faith, uh, they change their minds and they go back. So in the first reading today, Paul is saying, you know, don't go give in to the empty arguments of the people of today or for uh, silly uh, pleasures of today. Uh, continue to be, be, remain faithful to the Lord Jesus and uh, he will guide you through this life to the joys of eternity. And so today... Uh, we need to reflect on those readings and continue to renew our commitment to the Lord Jesus every day. And you do that every day by coming here, attending daily mass, and continue to pray for the rest of humanity, our relatives and friends, um, members of the parish, members of the community, who sometimes uh, stray from the faith or seem to be weak in the faith, not judging them, but praying for them uh, that they will respond to the promptings of the Holy Spirit. And I've learned, too, over the years that sometimes people today who are only Christmas and Easter Catholics um, 10 years from now will be leaders in the church. When the Lord Jesus touches them and they respond to his promptings, the promptings of the Holy Spirit, uh, great things will happen. So always keep that in mind. Ask the Lord Jesus to help you to remain faithful to him and pray for others that they will come, become stronger in their faith and show it by the way they live their lives. Oh, let us pray. Oh God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of faith and for your calling to, to us, a life of holiness. Help us to respond every day to that sacred calling and grow in our love for you. Grant us this, Lord, in the favors we ask in Jesus' name. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Archbishop George Lucas, Bishop Conley and Bishop Hannah Falk, and for all leaders in the church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our president and for all who serve us in public office, that they will strive to work for the good of our nation, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For men and women who are seeking work, that they may find the opportunity to serve others and in serving others to serve God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are ill or old age and can no longer work, that they may rest from their labors and spend more time with the Lord in prayer, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, that they may come to know the joys of eternal life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all those who lost all their possessions through fires or floods, that God will give them the strength to get through these terrible times, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for more vocations to the priesthood and religious life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And thanksgiving for the rain and continued favorable weather throughout the summer months, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our unspoken needs and intentions, let us now pause and pray to the Lord in silence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for Bill Tarnick, who will be buried from our parish tomorrow, and for his family who mourn his passing. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We offer this Mass this morning for Dave Blaha. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O God, our Father in heaven, please grant us these and all our needs, for which we pray to you today in Jesus' name, for he is Lord forever and ever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, toward your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer with humble and contrite hearts. Wash away my iniquity, cleanse me of my sins. Thank you. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who gave us the gift of true prayer and peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mysteries, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged for the changings of times and seasons. You formed men in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder. To rule in your name over all you have made, and forever praise your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord. gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you'll give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. And therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, 
and profess your resurrection until you come again. And therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by his death, you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with this Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, St. Joseph, St. Isidore, and with all your saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, the entire people your son has gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you summon before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to our passion from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom he bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form of divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days and by the help of your mercy. We may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Please join me in making a spiritual communion. <clears throat> My Jesus, I believe you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you're already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Our communion hymn is number 330, O Sacrament Most Holy. O Jesus, we adore you, who in your love divine conceal your mighty Godhead in forms of bread and wine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O Jesus, we adore you, our victim and our priest, Whose precious blood and body become our sacred feast. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine. All praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life through the food of your word and holy sacrament may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that they may merit an eternal share in his life who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you and grant you his peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Thanks be to God. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Our final hymn is number 668. Softly and tenderly, Jesus is calling. Softly and tenderly, Jesus is calling, calling for you and for me. See on the portals, he's waiting and watching, watching for you and for me. Come home. Come home, you are a weary, come home, earnestly 
tenderly Jesus is calling, calling for you to come home. Why should we tarry when Jesus is pleading, pleading for you and for me? Why should we linger and heap for your mercies, mercies for you and for me? Come home, come home, you all are weary, come home, earnestly, tenderly, Jesus is calling, calling for you and for me. Today's Morning Mass is brought to you in part by these sponsors. 